Hey everybody, this is Greg Finn, and welcome to another edition of Camel River Fishing. We're just delighted you can be with us today. Hey, I'm fishing out of St. Augustine Park today on beautiful Lake Sam Rayburn here in Deep East Texas. And um, actually, I spent a lot of time down here back from 2008 to 2018 fishing this end of the lake and I started guiding on this end of the lake. Got, still got a lot of brush piles down here I rarely ever come to. But my reason for coming down here today is I'm gonna fish with two of the greatest guys that I've just about ever known. They were a big part of my life. We lived in the same subdivision on right off of 83 in Ash Bow. And uh, you know, we're all getting a little older, so we decided to do a little trip. So if you'll bear with us, maybe we'll show you some fun times. And uh, this right over here is Doyle Tibbetts, and this is Gary Handel. And uh, man, we just, you know how it is when you got good friends and, and you stay good friends, uh, it's special. And these are special people of mine. So you get to know them a little bit as we go along. Got old Mitch up here, he's gonna deck him for us. He's not gonna get in our way. We're gonna maybe even do a little singing. You never heard me sing, but we can sing. We can act stupid sometimes. Anyway, sit back, enjoy the show. We'll see if we can't go yank some crappie. We're gonna use some jigs today and fish some brush piles. Sit back, enjoy the show. This is Greg Finn, and this is Camel River Guys. Maybe. I don't know. He's iffy. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh, I hear he'll measure. Put him in a box. God dang old Gary gets to eat tonight. There you go, folks. That's a lot of fish right there. They're buying a little finicky this morning, but they're there. That is a lot of fish right there. All right, things are heating up up here. Now, here's what happened. We, we stopped here and, you know, they went to go get their rods. Well, Doyle grabs Gary's rod. So technically... It's, it's an assist. It's an assist. <laughs> well, you're awful nice because I was going to say that's your fish. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gary handled... Doyle, Doyle caught the fish that was a big old white crop about 15 inches long. All spare when you're fishing. All, All spare, spare and love and war and crappie fishing. Crappie fishing. <laughs> Throw him in the box. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. Tell you what, that's what we need right here. A whole bunch of them. It'll work. He ain't no key. He, ain't, he just. I thought it was better fishing than that. He'll keep the old one. Yes, sir. He'll make cut. Oh, oh somebody had one on. That's a good yeah. fish. I ain't need net on him. Yeah. And there's a good one. He might start to bite now. That's the only kind I catch. <laughs> that old doll hold that fish and show this camera right over here what a fish is. Well, he swallowed it, didn't he? Got old doll Tibbets here coming out shoot number three. Turn around here, doll, and show show the folks at home. That's how you do it. One of the best right fishermen that ever fished Dang Lake it. Sam Rayburn, and that ain't no joke. Right there. Ain't that right, Gary? World renowned bass fisherman. Yeah. Now, you start fishing this lake really early, six, uh, well, mid 60s. 1965 is when they closed the gate. And you were living where then? I was living in Bridge City. Bridge City. But I mean, it was every day off. Me and Daddy started fishing in 68, but we didn't move to Lufkin until 70, and we fished the north end. You you came 
being coming right down 96 naturally you in 87 you normally naturally you'd be fishing right in here yeah the uh first bass master tournament they had up here on this lake i was an observer to call him observer bill dance ray scott all them old timers like that well they fished the first day after that, the top 20, they put an observer in the boat. And I got in a boat with an old boy named Glenn Hayden from Austin, Texas. And we went to the Black Forest. And in the Black Forest, there was an old field out there, right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yes, sir. There's rectangular like. Yeah, I know where it is. He took a cream worm. He started on one end of that, that field, throw out there, and he just Work to the other end, turn around and work back. Mm -hmm. Back then, you could keep 15. That's right. He said, uh, You counting these fish? I said, yeah, I got you covered. So uh, we got back to the way in. It got rough. God, it got rough. We had to pick up another another two fishermen that, that the boat had quit on, or sunk or something. It was rough. Got back in there. He come over to me a few minutes later. He said, Hey man, he said there was 16 fish in that lava. So I miscounted them, you know. I seen him later on. It's the flip tail worm tournament out of Jackson Hill. And he told me, he said, fish points, fish points. And back then there was a stick up, a little green stick up off Calhoun Point there. Mm -hmm. We sit there, won two ice chests. I'll never forget, I thought I'd won the classic. Won two ice chests sitting there. <laughs> and I'd see who, Hayden, he'd come by us. He'd come by the other way. He was running and gunning. A lot of people don't know how many talents Gary's got. Yeah, right now, I can name you. Um, he's a he's a he's a drummer. A drummer. He's a cook. He's a meteorologist. He's a mechanic. Oh uh, no! Uh, he's I, a no. First, I mean, he's a <laughs> first and foremost, he's an expert on. Uh, I mean, he's good at it. Is a. Uh, What's the name of that game show he likes? World of Fortune? No. Price is right. Price is right. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I watched it last night. It, well, you, watch, you used to watch it every day. Let's go fish a while. Might after Price is right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and he can come within 15 cents of anything. <laughs> I've sat there and watched him do it. He ought to be on the show. That's a good fish right there. I believe that in there was sure enough needs probably needs to be knitted. Don't give him no slack. Yeah, there's a good old white. Is that a white? Yes, sir. Where's the cheese? I caught that fish. Oh, Gary. I told him right where it was at. You see me do that? Yeah. Tell me where mine's at. Well, you're in the brook. <laughs> no, you're, you're where you need to be. Gary just up fishing too high. Well, we've caught some crappie today, but it has been a little slow. Now, this is not normally where I take people. I'm down here on the other end where we're uh, only because, you know, we got Doyle and Gary down here. We want to fish with them. And uh, But let's go to the box and see what we've got. You don't mind moving that net, old Mitch? And we'll see what we got in here. We've got some pretty nice crop. There you go. What's wrong with that? Folks, if you don't like that, you need to go see a psychiatrist or something. I don't know. I want you to look right at this right here. You see this one right here? Look at it. Look at, look, look at them two right there. That's one Dole caught. Dole caught that one, and Gary caught the other one beside that. And there's another one over there Gary caught, and there's another. Look at there. There's, there are some pretty good fish in here. It was just a little slow, 
And uh, I haven't been back over here in a long time, but I enjoy fishing, especially with my buddies here, Dole Tibbetts and Gary Hand. And uh, we've been telling all kinds of stories. Half of them were lies, and, and the other half were embellishments. <laughs> anyway, I want to see old Doyle here. You got any words of wisdom, Doyle? some words of wisdom. It's been a perfect, beautiful day. Good friends, good fellowship, good fishing. Can't beat it. Oh, man, that's awful nice of you. Now, I thought you was going to tell us a joke or something. I thought you was going to. Well, one of the best fishermen people, and he goes way back. I mean, we're talking Bill Dance days. This guy goes way back to the early 60s when he started. Doyle, you start fishing this lake in 65, did you tell me? 1965. 1960, and you actually, this area right here. Right so, here. so how many years is that? It's a bunch of... Well, what, my calculation is right at 60 years. 60, about 50, 60 years. 60 years. Next year will be 60 I'll tell you years. A story. I run all the way from Humphreys Pavilion at 9.5 Evan Road, right back here. There's no road bed right here. It's called an eight and a half pound. Right back here. First time out, you think, or pretty close to it, huh? Uh, it wasn't the first time out, but. It was a long run in that little boat. Well, back then, 35 horsepower motor was King Kong on this lake, oh, probably. There wasn't too many motors bigger than that. No, it wasn't. The first motor I ever had was a 55 horsepower Chrysler. Can you believe that? And there's old Gary right here. Now, his voice is not too good. He's He's been doing some chemo right here. and and uh, But one of the best friends I ever had right here. I got a lot of good memories with him. In fact, it was you that caught, and I'll try to think about it, I'll put that picture on this video here. Was that, how long ago was that? Maybe seven, eight years ago? He caught one right here and he held it up. And I ain't gonna tell you what he said. A man doesn't know how many springs he's got left. Yeah. I'm, you might be. I'm, I'm working on the last one. Well, maybe but, not. But wait, but wait. I can't think of a better place to be than him. Well, that's awful kind of I, I got the famous words of Thomas Edison's uh, wife who once said, I don't care if you did anything, they were not going to do it with the light on. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. That's all. All right, folks, I'm going to stand right here, and I think you can see all three of us. These are good people right here. We've enjoyed every minute of it today and uh hopefully we'll have some days ahead of this but you know we're all getting older and all about half the time got stuff wrong with us and, but you know lord willing we'll keep on going on jesus knows the plan a few more a few more a few more years in this hopefully anyway yep. Yep. good people right here and uh you know what? That's how you make memories is on the lake. If everybody in this world fished, we'd have a lot better place. You remember them disciples even fished. Don't forget about that. Yes, hey, uh, if you want to come fish with me on the commercial side of it, well, come on out here and see me, www.cameraryfriendsearch.com, or you know who I am. You can call me at 936-229-2370, and I'll do my best to put you on fish each and every day. But and whether we do or not, we will have a good time. We'll make memories, and you never can tell. Lifelong friends just like this. Hey, until next time, keep your powder dry and your lines wet and grin every now and then. I'm telling you, it's good for you, this Greg Finn. On behalf of old Mitch and me, we've had a good time. Come back and see us. Remember, this is Camera River Guide Service. See you, folks. Oh, <laughs>